Hello and welcome to uh, Kitia Assignment 5. So today we are making a stiffener. Uh, stiffener. First we will access the generative um, sheet metal design. As you can see it's a second class of this list at mechanical design. Uh, we will select this. Okay first before we start we have to set our parameters. We just click on the button here and type in for the first one uh, for the thickness 1 mm and for the default band radius uh, 2 mm. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, first, we are making a sketch on the XY plane. It has to be a triangle to a um, rectangle, uh, it has to be in, in the center. So, we select of, uh, from the drop down menu of our rectangle the center to rectangle. We place it in the middle of the region of our axis system and drag it out. Never mind how big it is because we are constraining it now. Now use the constraint tool in the right corner and constraint first the width. This has to be um, 242.5 millimeters. Now the high it is 92 millimeters. That's it. Now we just have to make a profile in, uh, for the corners because um, this is not really right. It has to be more flatted. Yeah, flatted. So first we are ma selecting our profile tool from the right uh, toolbar, this one, and we are making a straight line. Just a straight line. It has to be blue. Then we are making an arc. We are making an arc when we uh, put our mouse on the point, so we have this red uh, thing over there, and press left mouse button and drag it. Then we are making an arc. Make the arc like this. It should be uh, not a circle, also not a half circle, a quarter circle, it has to be an arc. So we don't have uh, this um, blue line, and we also don't have like a circle around it. So make a, an arc, and then again a line that's connecting to the arc. As you can see, there's an indication when it's connecting the two blue lines at, at the end point of our arc. Not at a straight line that we've just made, the arc that we have made after this. And there you can see two blue lines as a, um, like it's, um, a mark that you're doing a connection. Click it. Never mind how long it is. Then we make another arc. This also has to be like this, an arc. Not a half circle, not a quarter circle, just an arc. So it's not connecting to the point from our last arc and also not connecting to some other points. It has to be independent. Like this. That's all. Now we are making constraints. We are t selecting our constraint tool, double click it so we don't have to click it always again, and select the last arc we've just made. Select it and also select the upper line of our rectangle. And right click tangency. Now our profile, oh, that's not right. Our profile tool is now tangents to the upper line. So we can move it like this and it can't move it up or down. But we still can move it on the left side. So the next part is we are making our radians. This one has to be 50 millimeters. The other arc has also has to be 50 millimeters. Like this. Next step is given the constraint for the st first straight line. This has to be 16. Okay, now we are dragging it a little bit more here. So we can constrain it a little bit better. We are selecting again the constraint tool and selecting the first point of our first line that we've created in the profile tool. It's this point. You have to select the point and also the left line of your rectangle. Then you have to right click and constants. Now our profile tool is fixed in the rectangle, so we can't move it outside of it, except this one, but don't do it. Okay, now we have to select the point tool. We have to cre create a point on the green indication here that we just see on our arc that is connecting to the upper line of our rectangle and our arc. So select the point tool, click on it. As you can see, it has to be constants with the arc and the point. You can see in the left corner of uh, 
next to our cursor that we have a circle with a liner within it. If this is sh shown up, it's good. Click. Then we have this point with the two circles that is cosines to the arc and our upper line. We need this point for constraints. So we select the point and the last point of our, our first line, the straight line that we've created in the profile tool. We select it and as we can see this is not right. This is uh, not a vertical or horizontal measurement. So we right click and click horizontal me measurement. This has to be 8 millimeters. Yeah, it's fucked up. Uh, if we are doing constraints, we have to be careful that it can't move up or down because it uh, try uh, the program tries to make it the eight millimeters, and uh, it doesn't care about how fucked up it looks. So that's uh, why we mess it a little bit up. So before we're making this eight millimeters, we delete our constraint and select the point again and the first point of our first line and make a vertical measurement. So this has to be one millimeter. Still fucked up. Let me see. Okay. As you can see, it's still uh, messed up. So we just uh, fix it by ourselves. We're selecting a, a point of uh, this line and dragging it down till it's good. Like this, it's good. It looks, uh, yeah, it looks all right. So now we can see we have a one millimeter measurement. That's good here and drag it so it's a little bit closer mm. okay like this the next one is we have to make a measurement for the eight, eight millimeters we just delete it so select the point select the point that we've created horizontal measurement and type in eight beautiful so now we have to trim it because we want to get rid of all these lines that are sticking out of our figure. So we use a trim tool. We also can use a quick trim. I prefer the quick trim because it's uh, faster, but we are doing it with the trim tool because you also need it. So we select the f this line. Yep. Yeah. And the arc. This one. So we delete this line. Same thing with, uh, wait a minute, again the trim tool, better double click it so you don't have to click it again. Uh, select this line and the straight line, yes. And we have trimmed it. Now it looks beautiful. Before we continue, we are deleting our point that we've created on this line. Because um, for some reason it's not possible to make a, a wall after this, uh, after we finished it also the mirroring, so better delete it, then you don't get an error. I think I've deleted it, no. So select it, right click, good, that's good. Now select your profile that you have created with a uh, control. So hold control, wait, still have the trim tool. Undo, okay, select it and then uh, control and select the other lines. So they appear orange. Now we use the mirroring tool. It's on the right side, the second last, above a project 3D elements. Select mirror tool and mirror it to the X axis. And now select again our mirrored object. Also with control, select all lines. It should be four lines that you selected. And then mirror it to the Y axis. Then we have it on three sides. This side doesn't mind, matter, we don't need it there. Okay. Now we have to trim it uh, also, because we don't have any trimming here. So we select again our trim tool, this, and this, and trim it, like this. Same thing here. So we select the trim tool, select this, yes, this, and again trim tool, this one and this one. So we finished. That's good. So we can leave the sketch now and select the wall tool. First we select our sketch, sketch one, and the wall tool. Slowly. I can't select it. So we messed up something. That's what I told you because of this point there. When you uh, leave it there, it's, it's not a profile because profiles don't have uh, any specific points on it. So we have to delete somehow. 
Let's see how we can delete it. So we want to get rid of this point. Just delete it. Yeah. And then we are missing our measurement for the 8 millimeters, but that doesn't matter because we are not changing anything. So just leave it like this. And now let's see again. Can we make our war tool? There it goes. Uh, use the default uh, measurements, so it doesn't type in anything. Just click OK. There we have our fine plate. OK. Next part is we have to make a wall, uh, we have to flange it. Flanging is like we have this object and we are making like corners around it, like walls around it. So here we have the flange tool. It's on the right side and first column. And then select it. The measurements are length is 10, mi 10 millimeters, angle is 90 degrees, and radius 2 millimeters. Uh, yeah. We have to select now all the edges. I think there's a fa uh, fast way to do it, but I'm also doing, always doing it like this. So I'm selecting all the edges. Should be in total about 9 for one side and click OK. As you can see, we've just flanged it. And we are doing this with all the other edges. Like we are selecting again the flange tool, double click it so it's faster. Click it. Okay, then we have to select again here all, all edges. Uh, be careful that you select the upper edges. So this is the upside. Um, yeah, we, yeah, the upside. So we have to select the down uh, edges. So these ones. Okay, that's all. And also the other side here, you have select. You have to select the edge. Channel. Okay, beautiful. That's all. Now we have to unfold it. Unfolding is um, two columns under for this flange stuff. Here, unfold, fold and unfold. That's uh, why the generative sheet metal bench workbench is so good because we are making an object and we are adding like edges to it and it's like metal. Like uh, we are ban can bend metal as we want. So if we want the object like this beautiful but if you want to see how it's unfold then we just have to click one button that's all and then we have the unfolded view okay next part is we have to make a corner relief so like little holes in the corners uh, let's search for the tool it's a bit complicated so let's see this somewhere here mm. No, just give me a second. Here, color we left. It's a fourth column. So we just have to select the two sides and a radiance of three millimeters here and click OK. That's all. We have to do it with all sides. So let's double click it so we don't have to click it ag ever again. Click OK. Select the two rectangles. Click OK. And select again the two rectangles and click OK. As you can see, we have just created some holes for, I don't know, maybe some uh, here motors and stuff like that, or drills. Okay, let's unfold it again. Next uh, part is flange the hole. So uh, for this, we better fold it like this. And we are making a sketch on our rectangle, on our surface, the top surface. So click on the surface, that's highlighted, and click sketch button. We have to make one point that has to be coincidence with the x axis like this and 50 millimeters away from the y axis. Uh, 55 I think. Yeah, 55 millimeters. Then we um, go outside of the sketch and select our point that we've created. And we also have to select a flanged hole tool. So we go to this one, surface stamp, click on the drop down menu and select flanged hole. Then we select again. So first select the point, then uh, click on flanged hole and then click on the f surface where you want this flanged hole. We want it on the top surface of our object. So we select the top surface, this one. Click it, 
And there we have it on the point. Uh, the measurements are 6 mm high radiance, 2 mm angle 55 degrees and the diameter is 50 millimeters. At K factor major, um, yes, everything good. Click OK. There we have it. Uh, let's see, we also need it on the other side. So let's try to mirror it. I'm not sure if it works. Should work. Okay, it works. So let's do it again, slowly. We select the mirror tool, it's here. Uh, sometimes you have to like put this uh, stuff out to find the right tool. So maybe you have to search for it. Select the mirror tool. Select from the tree uh, the flange tool. I can't select it. Ah, from, yeah. Element to mirror, it's our flange tool, selected from the tree. And we've just created the flange tool. And the mirroring plane is selected. The YZ plane. Like this. There we have it. That's all. And the next step is we have to apply material. So we click on apply material. It has to be aluminum. So metal, aluminum. We click on the part body. So we select it all. Apply material. Okay. And shading with material. And there we have it. A beautiful stiffener. That's all. See you on the next session for assignment 6.